So it's safe to say that games journalists might not have the best reputation at the moment. And it'd be even safer to say that in 2023, journalism as a whole is not the most esteemed profession in the world. You can genuinely look at an IGN review, and all that an IGN review is going to tell you is if the game is like buggy or pay to win or something. But looking at the review scores for Starfield on Metacritic really just gives me new insight into how bad things have gotten. It's Old Man Banjo here coming to you with a reasonably short video today because I am ill. It turns out you need to wash your hands after cooking chicken. But I still want to get this video out because it's, it, to me, it's just mind-bogglingly shocking. So if you've been following the Starfield drama on release day, Starfield has come out to overwhelmingly positive reviews. As long as the journalistic entity to which you belong is a small one, and you need support from a big gaming company like Bethesda. So I'll cut, I'll, cut, I'll cut right to the chase here. So overwhelmingly small media outlets have given Starfield between 90 and 100. 100. Best game of all time. Equal to Skyrim. Overwhelmingly amazing. 100. A 100 is the higher score than Baldur's Gate 3 is getting. And it's one of the most hyped games in living memory. It's Mario Odyssey. It's that good. Starfield. Meanwhile, the major gaming outlets or major YouTubers that don't seem to care whether or not they maintain a loving relationship with good old Toddy Boy are giving it 70s. Both IGN and PC Gamer gave it 70s. Now, I don't trust IGN and PC Gamer. Don't come at me in the comments saying, Old Man Banjo, why do you care what IGN and PC... I don't. I don't. Uh, on, a, on a creative level, on an enjoyment level, on a spiritual level, I don't really care what IGN and PC Gamer have to, have to say. But one of the things you have to say about them is that they are large media franchises that have a certain level of independence because they just have an awful lot of money. If they want to break ties with Activision, which they really haven't done it done it a bit more if they want to break ties with blizzard if they want to break ties with bethesda they're sort of free to do so because they're large enough media franchises that they have some freedom and then that raises the question why are all the smaller subsidiaries even the smaller subsidiaries of pc gamer and ign giving starfield 100 out of 100 scores IGN, the main one, 70. IGN Japan, 100? Fuck early, early access. Fuck early access. Look, people can disagree about games. People always disagree about games. And Bethesda seem to always have like a lot of that, you know? Especially because they tend to release their games in a buggy mess, and then people improve them with mods, and mods change player experiences. I mean, I was playing Fallout 76 a while back in the current version, and I had a lot of fun with my mates. Bethesda have always just been a little bit controversial that way. But really? This level of discrep discrepancy between the major, huge media outlets that don't care, and every Joe Schmo small reviewer that got an early, early, early access copy. It, I, I'm, I'm, it's, it's the sort of thing that makes you not want to make a YouTube channel because you worry that if your YouTube channel got enough subscribers, you could end up like that. And it's just, it's, it's, it's really depressing. Now, I haven't bought Starfield. I'm going to wait it's for the dust to settle, the truth to come out, in uh, people to have beaten the game consistently, the what the absolute. modding community looks like, and possibly a sale. God. I'm a big fan of sales. The absolute is and also, there's just so many good games to play right now. I don't think it's gamers absolute we've absolute. ever been. 2023 has been a pretty good year. I think it's been a pretty good year. And I wasn't as hyped by Baldur's Gate 3 as everyone else. I'm pretty critical, especially the goddamn horrible early access buggy mess. But they, I mean, got to give it to Larian, man. They have patched that game. I've been complaining about bugs, and it's like they're like, boom, boom, boom. They're just shooting down the bugs as I complain about them. And I, I really, you know, take my hat off to Larian for doing that. But I've just never seen anything as deceptive 
as Starfield. I've never seen reviewers and influencers engage in this charade to, to such an extent. Now, I'm not saying the game is bad. I don't know if the game is bad. But the variation between the people that have a financial interest in saying that the game is good and the people that have a vested financial interest in saying that the game is, well, I, that have no financial interest, I've just never seen the gap be that huge before. Obviously, for, for more mainstream titles on, like, consoles, yeah. But this is a Bethesda game. I mean, Bethesda games, you know, look at Fallout 76. People sort of tracked with that, right? Uh, the community was saying it was bad. The reviewers were saying it was bad. The reviewers were more or less uh, unanimous on saying it was bad. And then Fallout, uh, and then Starfield comes along and it's like, a few people, particularly people who don't have any financial interest, are saying, yeah, it's, it's, it's really bad. It's as bad as Fallout 76, much worse than Fallout 4, which people already had problems with. And then there are other people saying it's better than Baldur's Gate 3. There are other people saying it's better than Mario Odyssey. There are people saying it's better. What are, what are some other most acclaimed games of all time? I've been playing Super Mario Odyssey all day. My brain is sort of fried. They're saying that it's, it's, a, it's a goat. It's Skyrim. Maybe better than Skyrim. I don't really think that it's going to turn out to be better than Skyrim. In the end, we'll have to see. Uh, I'm going to end this video now. I'm severely dehydrated. If you want more gaming news, gaming drama, comments, and RPG news, well, I can subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.